up? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Simon Servita and today I am giving you five beginner MIDI editing tips to help boost your workflow in FL Studio. You ain't ready. Now this tutorial won't make you a better producer. It will make you a faster producer. So if you are making fire, we got rapid fire now. So we have a drum pattern right here. What I'm gonna do is we're just gonna make an eight bar loop and I'll make the beat with the hot key so that you can see the connection. Actually, before I teach you any tips, I'm gonna give you like a prerequisite tip. So if you wanna select all, make sure you go control A like this. And if you just wanna select a few notes, press control, left click and drag. I'm gonna be using these a lot. So it's best if you know this right now. So we have right now just an E piano playing some basic chords, nothing special, but I'd like there to be a bit more realism to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the cut tool which is C. And what you do is if you click and drag across notes, it'll just cut them in half like that. Instead of left clicking, see you see this blue one, we're gonna right click. So you get this red arrow, it will cut them in half and delete the shorter half. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna just right click from the bottom and we're gonna just make little rolls like this. So right now it's snapping to grid, but if I hold alt while I'm doing this, it's completely off the grid. You can just do whatever you want with this one now. So I can I can make it go down like this, I can make it go down like this. Okay, so we just have hi-hats, they're playing a simple pattern. And you know, you want to copy everybody and you want to make some cool hi-hat rolls. You highlight the note you want, as I said before, control left click drag, so you go like this. And you're either going to press control U or alt U. So alt U gives you this window right here. And you can adjust this knob to see how much division you want in the notes. So if I go to the right, it's less, this is more. And then you can preview it as well. Now the reason I'm telling you about Alt U and Control U is because when you go to this window, it doesn't give you anything divisible by three. So it doesn't give you triplets. See, so this goes one, two, four, eight, so on. I don't even know the math anymore. You're gonna press your magnet here, snap to grid. Just choose one six step, one third step, one six beat, one third beat. So let's go to this one. And now you don't press Alt U, because that still does the same thing. You're gonna press Control U. There, right there, see? This, this, this. Let's say I wanna do six this time. We do that, Control U again. See? Easy, easy stuff, easy stuff. We're getting somewhere, we're getting somewhere. So I just drew a melody for the 808s like this. But see, as you see, the notes are so short that the 808s are cutting off right away. And you know, I'm not about to waste all my time. Just, ah, oh, there's one. Oh, there's another. It's doing this. We don't like wasting time in this channel. So what we're gonna do is select all, which is control A and control L. Boom, everything connects to the next note. Now there's one small problem I always find is that, see this last note right here, there's no note to connect to, so obviously nothing happens to it. So what you should do is just put a note right here at the end, and then when you do it, it'll connect to it, and just delete that note. Okay, I just made this melody on the bells. Sounds pretty cool. Let's say, um, let's say I wanna bring it up an octave. So all I have to do is Control A, so if you hold control while you're pressing the up and down arrow keys, you go up octaves. And if you hold shift while you're doing it, you go down notes, like semitones. I like this pattern. Let's say I want to duplicate another four bars so I can, you know, vary the notes a bit. So all I have to do is press control B like this. And now I can move all these notes and vary them as much as I like. And you know what? Maybe, maybe I want to bring it up an octave. There. Ooh, look, we're, we're comboing now. These are combo moves. The one thing I did notice, however, is that Let's say I don't have this first note in the melody. Let's say I don't have this last note. If I press Control B, it starts where this last note ends and begins where this first note begins. So see that? It started right there. I wanted it here. So this hotkey works best when you have something at the very beginning and something at the very end. Thank you so much for watching the video. I genuinely hope you learned something, whether you're just a beginner or you're a more advanced producer. If you are a complete beginner and all of this is new to you, I suggest just learning one at a time and doing it until it's second nature. Then come back to this video, learn the next one, rinse, repeat, you know, be good. Comment below if you have any tips you'd like to share with the rest of us. This is the first time I've made a video like this, so let me know if you like it and I might make more in the future. If you have any suggestions, leave a comment. If you like this video, leave a like. If you really like this video, subscribe. If you didn't like this video, leave. Just leave. Get out of here!